Hi, this is Dina Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the alert for future videos. Today, what I'm going to be doing is a plan with me for the week of November 22nd through 28th and my Hobonichi cousin. It is the 5A size. What I'm going to be using today, um, I'm gonna pull, be pulling from two sticker books. This is the Agenda 52, which is a Hobby Lobby brand called the Paper Studio. And this one, which is also Agenda 52, this one's called the Farmhouse Sticker Pack. And this one is the Home Life Foiled Pack. And this one is sized for the personal size, as is this one. So I find that the other pads of stickers that they have are more for a full size, like seven by nine size. So I did pull these two. They did have a great sale this week, 50% off everything Paper Studio, and I've been looking at them, so I went ahead and got them. I'm going to be using a washi from the Coffee Monster Co. It's about errands, which is going to be, this is what this week is going to be about. I got a little bit behind with being out of town, and I've got a lot to do this week. And then I picked out three Tombos, and I think I showed this in another video, but this is kind of how I pick out my colors now. So I take a swatch sheet, put it that way, um, that I printed from, it was either the Tombow site or Pinterest. I think it might have been Pinterest. And it has all the Tombow shades and their numbers. And then on the back side, I swatched all the colors that I personally own. So what I do is I just take the washi that I want to use and I kind of just line it up and see what color looks like it's going to match the best. So I pulled number 291 and 312 from the green blue kind of categories. So this one is 291. Maybe that will focus. This one is number 312. And then I picked this one, which is kind of a fleshy tone. It's number 850 because it kind of matched the pink that was in here. So um, I used to just take them all out and swatch them all and lay the <laughs> washi out on a piece of removable sticker paper and it was taking me forever. So I also have my tumbles kind of separated. So in this pencil pouch with this tag, I have my tumbles most used. So these are the lighter colors. These are the ones I always tend to gravitate towards. So those I separate out just because it saves me some time when I'm sitting down to plan. And then my other colors that are maybe deeper or maybe more seasonal, I put in my cubes and they're all, everything is laying flat, which is really important when you're looking at a felt tip dual point because they will dry out if you store them upright in a cup. So you always want to lay those down. And then of course my erasable pen that I love more than life and then my X-Acto knife and a ruler. And then I did pull this little tiny template out that I got in a bullet journal just to see if I wanted to play around with that. And then of course my peak of the week notepad that I'm really loving this uh, way of doing it versus on that really big post-it notepad that I was using for a long time. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pull this to the side because I keep moving it around in my videos. So I'm just gonna pull it to the side. So how are you guys? Can you honestly believe that it's going to be Thanksgiving week this week? I can't. It seemed like it was, I felt like October dragged and November is flying by. And you can probably see I have long sleeves on. It finally became a little bit cooler here in Arizona. Um, it's windy and kind of cloudy today, so it definitely is a lot cooler than it's been, so I'm super excited. I was in San Diego last week. It was 98 degrees <laughs> on Friday when we got there, and it was probably about 92 or 93 on Saturday. 
and I did not check the weather before I left because I brought, you know, long sleeve things and sweaters, but um, the nights were at least a little bit cooler. And then the day we left, it got cool, of course. It's always that way. But I um, got a little bit behind with being gone, so I spent most of last week working on orders and getting that those kind of things done. Getting caught up on my budget and videos. So pretty productive week, but um, I still have some things that have been on my to-do list that need to get done. So that is what this week is going to be about. And this will only be the second Black Friday in 40... 40 years that I've not worked because I've always worked in retail around retail for you know a company that is in stores so we always worked Black Friday no matter what your position was with the company you always worked Black Friday which I loved because I would go to my favorite store and work with my favorite team and then my education manager would work with me and we just have a great time so it's a little bittersweet um, that I'm not working this year but then there's another side of me that thinks it'll be nice not to have to work on a Black Friday. Though I don't think they're going to be as busy as they used to be just because everything is so different right now. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with my sidebar. But first I'm going to put this on for Thanksgiving. And then let's see what we want to put in the sidebar. Okay. I'm going to put this is my happy place on the sidebar. Then I was going to, I'm going to put these two to-do lists for the week. So one is due now. And the other one is due later. And then I think I will just put a little bit more washi down here on the bottom. So this washi really does match this sticker book so that worked out well okay so on my do now so I need to order the pies I have dessert and appetizers grocery store I need to get our truck um, emission tested. And I need to finish my yearly budget. So if you've watched my channel for a while and you watch my budgeting videos, I do a yearly budget where I take my history from last year, I plot it all out into my planner, and I kind of set some goals, financial goals for myself, for my family, and then also I start to estimate what I need to bring in every month. So I have gone back and forth on going back to work in 2022. I will be off my severance package. So there was a conversation with my husband and I on like, what what do we really need to bring home every month? Do we start to pull from my retirement? Do I go back to work? You know, he is still working full time plus. So at the end of the day, I really want to keep being home. And for a couple of reasons, um, my dad is 94. He has not been in good health. My mom is 89 in a memory care facility. And I've had the luxury this year to spend so much time with them. 
and I feel like I don't know how much longer I'm going to have them in my life and I would prefer if we financially can swing it to stay home so that I can spend as much time with them as I feel like I need to. It also helps because I have two sisters that live very close by that also help. One is still working, the other one travels a lot. So I feel like in this last year I've been the one that's probably been the most consistently available to particularly for my dad. So. That was the deciding factor, and you know, my husband's completely on board with that, which is great. Um, I still would like to work part time eventually, but in the meantime, I'm, I'm not going to work. Okay, so let's start with Monday. So I am restarting physical therapy. I had a little bit of a break because um, I was waiting for approvals for. Wait, I think it's this one approvals for my insurance company, which if you work with insurance companies, you know how long that can take. So I have seven more sessions and I will be honest, I was really bad about doing my stretching exercises that they gave me um, in the meantime. So I have only myself to blame because my foot is no joke right now. It is not feeling good, but Again, my own fault. I should have done the, the work. So, and I have physical therapy Monday and Wednesday. And then on Monday, I get my. Um, I did put visit mom, but I'm going today, which is Sunday. So, I'll have my sister go tomorrow and then I'll go Tuesday. No, I am going to go ahead and visit my mom tomorrow. I take that back. I, um, she works late. Oh no, she doesn't work this week. Okay. I'm going to take that back off. She's a teacher and they have this week off. So I'm going to put that back there. This sticker album I got from uh, Jet Pens and everything that kind of pertains to the cousin planner is in here, all my sticker sheets. So it saves me a lot of time looking for stickers. I'm gonna put Visit Mom there. And then on Thursday, I need to talk to the director to see what they do because, you know, I don't, I think what they do is kind of just, you can go in and see them if you want. You are not allowed to take them to your home because they don't understand why they can't go and stay there. I'll pull this out a little bit. Um, so we can't bring her home here, but I could go on Thursday and maybe take her to lunch. Make this one better. And maybe I'll take my sister with me so we can both go. And then I'll need to find out what we're going to do here. And then I'll go back on Sunday. Sundays tend to be the day that they have the most family members there. Um, so I don't want her to feel left out if we're not visiting. Okay, so I've got my three visits with my mom down. And then on Tuesday, I'm just gonna put all my appointments down first and then I'll go back in and fill like when I'm gonna be working on my shop and videos and things like that. So on Wednesday, I mean on Tuesday I should say. I have pest control coming. They normally come in the morning. I hate that they just, oh no, wait. It is not Tuesday. It is Wednesday, it's the 24th. 
Hmm. I wrote it down as Tuesday. Okay, so put this down here. Okay, that'll be annoying if I'm at physical therapy when they get here because you have to open up all the garages and let them in and make sure the gates unlock. So my husband will have to do that. Okay. On Monday, okay, it just went on my head. Okay, I'm going to come back to that because it just literally left my head. Okay, and then on Friday morning, I will film my budget with me video. Oh, now I remember what it is. Um, giveaway winners. So I did a giveaway on my channel um, for a budget bundle. I had three winners. I need to mail their packages out on Monday. I knew there was something I couldn't forget on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I need to kind of just block it out like this. Okay, so I need to go to the grocery store, which I'm going to dread doing. I need to clean my house. While I'm not hosting Thanksgiving, I just want to get it clean so that if people come over over the weekend, I'm not having to worry about it here. I want to try to go to yoga. I need to get the truck emission tested. I need to wash my car. And then on Thursday, no, oh, I'll do this on Wednesday. So before I do a budget with me video, I update all my transactions balance my checkbook make sure that everything's right just makes the video go a lot smoother okay and then let's see i need to move pest control down okay on thursday we are meeting at my niece's house at two o'clock or one o'clock actually but in the morning I promised my dad that I would take him to the casino and I think my daughter and my husband are going to go and my sister are going to go as well. But he is so looking forward to it. He was in the hospital again last week, uh, got home on he got home on Monday. Um, he had been in the hospital all weekend, so he is feeling better, but he wants to go have some fun now. So how can I say no to that? I can't say no to that. Not that I probably would. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna put these little cameras. I'm put these over here. Filming. And then I will do my plan with me on Sunday.
There is not a cardinal game this weekend, so that kind of frees up some time on the weekend. Okay, these are a little hard to get out. So I'm gonna go back here. I like how these all kind of match. Weekend banner down. I've always had calendars that were Sunday through Saturday, so sometimes looking at a Monday through Sunday, it confuses me. Um, Hobonichi does highlight that this is a Sunday with being red, but when I'm looking at it this way, I still want to look Sunday to Monday, so this is the weekend. Um, Saturday, I'm going to leave open because I am going to be putting up all of my Christmas decor on Saturday. So, <clears throat> it's going to be kind of a push to get it all done, but I want to get it done before my husband, uh, the following week he is having back surgery on Monday. So, I going to be a nurse again. So I want to just get everything done before. That way he can get the lights up before his surgery and get help me get all the stuff down. Probably doesn't want to do that either though right now. I might have to get my son-in-law over to do that. So. so Saturday I'm blocking the whole day for Christmas decorations and just get the house done before the following week. Okay, so let's go back to do later. So I'm sorry, I keep going out of frame there. So do later is I have videos for my planner setup. So my planner lineup for next year will be the Hobonichi Cousin again um, for my overview planning. And then I am loving the daily journaling in the back. Um, that's helping me so much when I do memory planning. I also have a Hobonichi Weeks that will be my everyday carry because there's, I don't carry this with me. It's a little bit big to throw in my bag. So I have a whole two weeks, which I've not had a planner in my bag. I've just written things down or taken pictures of things or tried to put them in my phone. So I'm excited to have a planner with me as again. And then my third one will be my shop planner, which right now is in an A5 Notique. And I'm putting that in an A6 Hobonichi day free. I have two actually, a day free and a English it has the month and the dailies. So that will be a combination of both planning for filming and things like that, shop ideas, as well as finances and kit tracking and all that that is currently in an A5 binder that never leaves my office. So I'm hoping that if it's more portable and I have it with me more often, I'm gonna be a little bit better about keeping that up. So that is my plan. So I have all of the planners kind of templated out where they're going to go, what I'm going to put in them. I have printed some things for them, but I haven't actually done the setup yet. So that's going to take me some time. So I do need to do my planner lineup. My sister comes into town the following week. So I'm going to clean my house. Probably on, probably Sunday. And then I need to get the guest room ready because I think that's where I'm going to have my husband because if I move on the bed, he's going to be unhappy. I can give him our room and I can take the guest room too. So one of us is going to be in the guest room because... He is not going to be, first of all, I don't think he's going to sleep well. And second of all, I don't think he's going to want a lot of movement. So they said at least a week down 
then he can start to move around a little bit more and then um, hopefully he will not work for a couple weeks but knowing him I'm probably going to lose that battle so there we go okay so let's go back to Monday just real quick make sure I've got everything off my list physical therapy in the morning I'm going to visit my mom oh no I switched that Um, Tuesday, I'm going to go visit my mom. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to get the stuff for Thanksgiving. I need to clean my house. I'm going to try to get in yoga. I need to take the truck to get emissions and wash my car. And then on Wednesday, that one, we have pest control coming at physical therapy. I need to update all my financials for my video. Thursday is casino with my dad and my family, dinner at my niece's, that's going to be an all day thing. I got to figure out, I need to call the director at my mom's place and just really talk to her about holidays. This will be the first holiday that my mom is in the memory care facility, so I don't really know what we should be doing. I also... So I was with my mom last week and when they have a doctor that comes in, she's really a PA, but comes into the memory care facility and she was checking my mom because there was a spot on her arm that my sister wanted to check out. And I happened to be there when she got there. And so I have to, I guess they have a dermatology company that goes into the facility and will do some biopsies. So I need to download the forms and then just schedule that. So I need to do that. And then um, I have to follow up on my dad's doctor's appointments. He flatly refused to have blood work when he went to the kidney doctor because he was tired of giving blood work because he was in the hospital. <laughs> so I need to follow up with that because that's just not right. Um, okay, so I think everything else on that list is done. So this is how the week looks right now. It looks super open. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and plot out my Etsy time. I've been trying to block two hours a day. So if I go to yoga in the morning, I'll be back at 10. And then Wednesday, go to the afternoon. Thursday, let's be realistic, it's not gonna happen. I can do Friday. I think I have HelloFresh coming on Friday. I should check that. Okay, and I'm not going to plan anything for Saturday. Of course, orders always become a priority. Um, I am involved in the Etsy shop um, sale that the whole Etsy site is doing for, it goes from the 16th through Cyber Monday. And that is 20% off my entire shop, which they advertise. I mean, as a follow of my YouTube channel, you can always have that coupon. So it's always in the description of my video. But if you don't have that um, and you don't normally follow me on YouTube, you probably aren't hearing this, but then for anybody that visits my site, my entire shop is 20% off right now. So good deal. And then I will just stick in some stickers. I'm really loving these colors, though they do seem a little bit more spring versus uh, fall, but I do really like them together. 
So I'm glad I went ahead and bought these sticker packs because I do think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. That's where I block my shop off. Okay, so this is my overview of this week. So the 22nd through the 28th. And then I'll go back and I fill in or move things that don't actually get done. So this was the week before last because last week I didn't plan. Um, so this will be this week. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll try to list everything that I used down below in the description and hope you are having a great Thanksgiving if you're in the States and have a great rest of your week. Take care. Bye. Come sit next to me, let things happen naturally, like you.